this is not a test What you are witnessing is live radio 106.5 FM And this is the Indie Bow Radio Show With your host, Mitch Barnes, Kel G, Free And I am DJ KDL Let's get into it Yeah, oh yeah, 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 no doubt, man. That green and white, man. I just want, I want to put the spirit back, not within the city, but you know, within everybody, and put the motivation back into them, and let's let's so drive to our destination. I'm gonna keep it a big with you. I don't even watch sports. Yeah, you know this. That made me feel like I want to just be down the Eagles for a minute. Yeah, no. <laughs> just talking about that. Don't yeah. yeah. put the Eagles jersey on the hat to the best. Ain't no question. Like, right? I ain't gonna keep it real with you. Yeah, so on that stop, that stop the violence kind of shirt, y'all gonna definitely get a live performance from Bruno Brown with the green and white. We also have a live performance from others. We got DJ Cosmic Cam. Yeah, yeah. We got Gilly the Kid. Yeah. We got Butter Knife. Yeah. We Yo, got Fat G's. We got Greg G's. You know, along with Eric Allen. Yeah, on deck. Yeah, hip hop on deck. We got 106.5 yeah. live. So we gonna, we gonna definitely have a good time and we gonna bring life and bring that good energy into this Stop the Violence concert. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be memorable. Magical. That's what's up, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. Mr. <laughs> Archie, Mr. Archie, yeah. yeah. Okay, first of all, Mr. Archie, Mr. Archie, for all, for all the people that's just tuning in, can you give everybody all your social media information again? Your I'm, name, your website, your phone number. For sure. Yeah. sure. So I'm Archie Leacock. I'm okay. the executive director. I'm the lead uh, for our community and doing the work with our young brothers and sisters. Um, the phone yeah. number for ID is two one five nine zero one six nine seven six. You'll reach me directly. Our website is ida.org, I-D-A-A-Y, two is African American Youth, dot org. Uh, and we really want you to, to hear that this is an ongoing challenge in our community. There's a four-part series, but this is the first that Eric Allen is, sort of, is heading up with us in a very direct way. But there are three more to go, and there are many other opportunities. While we are raising vitally needed dollars for what we do, we want everyone to hear that this also is funding the program that we need as a people in order to move forward. Tutoring, truancy, why our young people, 40, 50% of our young people are in school every day. And then the school district and teachers tells me that, oh, there's nothing they can do. It is nonsense. We need to scream that they're talking about 50% of our young people not out of school. We just did an initiative for where we want 100% of our young people and we're going to add up the data over the weekend at probably 95, 98%, and I'm still pissed about that. Mm -hmm. We need to be in school. We need, because if we're not in school, we're on the streets doing inappropriate things in somebody's basement. And on and on, violence. We get a good 60% of the young people who get arrested under 18 years old at the school, uh, at PJJC, the Youth Study Center. There are people getting arrested. Then these criminal records stay with them for, uh, forever in most cases. You need lawyers to wipe away some of those uh, through expungement, which we did this past year. It is just against us. We can fix this. We need to spend the dollars and the support. Call me. None of you, I guarantee you, will be disappointed with the work we are doing. I am passionate about it, and I want to fire you up to do so. Don't spend $2 billion on T-shirts and sneakers. Spend $4 billion on ID. I promise you, you'll be very pleased with the outcome. Yeah, I hear that. Dedicate. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Make sure y'all dedicate that and donate to Mr. Archie. Can y'all hear me? Man? Yeah, I feel I like with Mr. Archie in here, like I'm amongst the presence of a living angel on earth. You dedicated your feel. life to the cause. That's how I feel. And you could have been stingy and just made your money and lived happily right, by yourself right. and not care about nobody. Now, a lot of, I hear everything you're saying about schools. How do you feel that, because I always thought about this, the school's curriculum is not getting the attention of our youth. It's like we had the same curriculum from probably 60, 70 years ago. They're not really changing anything. What can we do about changing the, that curriculum, or is it a lost cause because we're begging for the government to help us as far as schools? We can't. We got to build our own schools. What do you think about that? Well, that's why it's a lost cause. We're expecting somebody else to do the work we need to do. Right. If we get on on the street and we vote the people who are going to make those changes and instruct 
Dr. Haidt and others to do this. And he's, by the way, African American. I think, if I see right. Um, you say if you see right? If I see right. <laughs> <laughs> he's my ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, we instruct our elected officials to do this work. And I, let, let me let you know how radical I am about this. I, I'm quiet with it, but I'm radical with it. Oh, because the very folks who support us, very often we see them in city council, they're African Americans. And we think, oh, they're African, oh, we got, we, we, we're there. We are not. Very often, they are to themselves playing the good old boy game right. where they're looking after themselves and getting their pockets and their bank accounts right. filled, and they get to a point where they're not looking out for us anymore. They only really look out for themselves. themselves. Because they learn the trick of the trade if they want to be wealthy yeah, and rich. Right. And we need people who understand what it is we need to do, and we need to be vigilant about it. And after 26 years, I am even more determined that no one should be walking into my office, can't read who is African American. You should get a job. You want a job right now on my machine? The young people who on my machine, Archer need a job, anything, even cleaning bathrooms. I can let you listen to it right now. Yesterday I went to a funeral to walk to the very end to bury a young man. Today at my house a young man got stabbed seven times, just got released from my son hospital. On and on every day, filled. People get released from CFCF and they come to my house at four in the morning ringing my doorbell. I'm half asleep. People are coming, and, and I can give you evidence about this. This is just not what I'm saying. And more of us need to do this work and feel passionately about it, and we need to mentor and love all people. They can prosper, we can prosper, and if they do it, we will do even greater. Now, you've been doing this for a long time. What keeps you from getting discouraged? My mother. My, wow. when, let me tell you something. In short, because believe me, you have to you have to start playing the music pretty soon. <laughs> because I feel, so, I feel so strongly about this, I can talk about it. My mother, when I went blind at 14, the only friend I had, everyone disappeared. My own little girlfriend, I was trying to get together. She, <laughs> everybody, the school, I couldn't go to school. All my brothers, they didn't know how to deal with me anymore. My mother took the time to reteach me how to use the bathroom, how to pee, how to wash dishes, how to sweep the floors. This woman told me, don't let the world tell you what they want you to do. You fight your way, because if you don't fight, you're going to be a loser. Is and she still alive? My mother died six years ago, and I ended up in, in, in Temple Hospital, because there's no way that I could ever imagine a person who loved me unconditionally yeah. and gave off her time and talk to me even when I couldn't talk because I was so depressed at 14 that your, she could possibly not be here anymore. Your mother sounds like an angel. I guess you come from a long line of angels, mm -hmm. huh? It's in your DNA yeah. to get back and help people. Well, I hope on my Friday nights when I'm having wine that I feel I'm an angel, but... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. It's so like, hey, Mr. Well, Scotch, I got a question for you. So. When you was, uh, I'm coming kind of hot right there, let me take that down. What did your uh, peers and your constituents say about your idea of uh, retiring and helping, um, you know, the youth? How did they feel about it? It's, if you can recall. It's, oh, recall is quite vivid. Um, basically, my folk, the folks at uh, Templar, I want to put Temple out there. Um, at your peers? <laughs> yeah, I okay. mean, they, they felt to a large extent, the folks that I was teaching with that, it's a lost cause. It's a, under the hood, on top of the hood, what the hell is that? You'll never make it in America. You are doomed forever. You have to do this. You have wow. to be at the university writing books, doing this, doing presentation, lecture. No one endorses what we are doing because the larger world doesn't see it. Right. Even today, a friend was talking to me this morning about the guys kneeling. What do I think about it? Well, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Right. In fact, I think all, the, all sports people need to do an infinitely more job. They should be coming to places like ID. They should be coming to our schools, you know, right. to talk to us, inspire us. How did you get there? How can we get there? Right. But instead, when we try to reach out to them, we hear how complicated it is to reach these guys. But you know what? This is Lucinda again, a Bible princess. I want to say something real quick. We do reach out to different people, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have a program, and it's from 4 to 6.30. But some people we reach out to who are celebrities want to charge to come and talk to these young children.
But if you think about it, if you come and help them, you know, everybody say the kids are our future, right? Yeah. Everyone say that. Right. So why are you charging to come is to help these young people go the right direction? I know you have to eat. I understand that. Right. But at the same time, they need you. You know what let, I'm saying? Let me, let me chime on that for you to help you out because I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm one of the co-management of guys that go around and collect the monies from these organizations. Sometimes it only be because it be like a communication. Now we do that cert we do know that certain foundations and certain establishments have a budget for this particular type of of you know mm -hmm. bring individuals up and speak to the children as a motivator. Like perfect example, like Wallow two six seven. Wallow go to everywhere all over, right, right. all over for free. Right. But at the end of the day, it is times where we know guys that got paid a thousand dollars to bring us up and never told us. Wow. Until you find out later on that these curriculums, some of them, mm. some of them have a budget. So I will answer that question to say, that's why you got to get certain guys like myself that move and shake and grab certain these guys up by their collars, if we can, <laughs> with the powers to be, yeah. and make them help out. Because sometimes money, money can distract you from doing things that are detrimental to society. Money is a big distraction, just as well as cars. Cars are distractions. You know, that's why people misconstrue rap music. They misconstrue hip-hop and say that hip-hop is a large influence on uh, the uh, uh, perception that children get, which teaches them to be violent. No. It starts with your home front. Start with your parents, man. I grew up with 13 people in one house at 7128 Ogons Avenue. 13 of us in one house. Yeah, I did all the bad things, but I had to do a 180 degree turn because it's not fun going to the penitentiary. It's not fun having felonies. It's not fun telling you that you have to take an entry level position at 50 years old because you lack education. You have no credentials. You have no accolades as some of the, the you know, People speak about. So right now, I tell people when I grade them, I say you're being graded right now in life on a on a on a number scale, from the day you are born to the day that you die. You start off in preschool. You get a grading system from preschool all the way up to high school to college, and when you become an adult, when you buy a home, car, have children. When you're an adult, they call it a beacon score or a behavioral score. When you're in school, preschool to high school to college, well, college they give you, as Archie said, you have to have a certain amount of credits. <laughs> it's all numbers. But when you're in school, you get an A. I think they still have the C's and the D's. I know in Jersey it's a little oh, different. Yeah. But, all right. they, but, they, but you still get graded. Yeah, you get graded. You get graded. You get graded. So, so let's play a game, as I like to say. Real quick, then we're going to let Archie go because I know he has a big celebration for I day foundation, but we're going to play a game and we're going to start with Archie. Archie doesn't have no felonies. He's a, a retired prof uh, forensic scientist professor. Right. So we would say he has an A plus as a grade. Yeah, yeah. If you were a teacher, what grade would you give me? you give me an A. Okay. Plus, yeah. Come on, I, want, I need all staff. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch, all right, all right, about so one who's giving an A? I give him an A+. Plus. Yeah, and your a. name is? My name is Mitch Barnes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I give him an A. And when your name is? Reek. For the people. Reek? Come on, Kels. Yeah, I'll definitely give him an A. Definitely. Okay. Now, let's judge, let's judge me. My name is John Doe. <laughs> My name is John Doe. I, convict, I was convicted of selling drugs, uh, DUI, and I did uh, six months in the county. Right. Uh, I just came home <laughs> two times, and I don't have a job. What grade would I get? And I'm 18. Now listen, I, I, I what grade you, would I get? I'll give you uh, a D, but I'll give you a chance to. <laughs> me? No, I, no, no, no. Me? No, you can't give me a chance. We're talking about teaching the youth. Yeah. Uh, what grade do I coming get? Coming straight from? If I ain't know you, uh, yeah, you might get a D, man. Nah. Why well, you gotta I, know me? I, Tell I, him, Archie. I <laughs> what, Archie, what grade do I get? <laughs> I give you an A because I understand this was a setup for you. Okay. And it is a setup. From that aspect, okay. It is a setup. When you live in North Philadelphia or South Philadelphia, schools are horrible 
and you don't learn to read, and all they put doing is flooding drugs on your block, and you have nothing else to do, and you don't go to school, as I said, 50% of the young people don't go to school, and all they're doing is teaching you to own a corner, and you need sneakers, and you need to look nice, and do things. You're tempted by the wrong. The devil is with you. The right. devil is there. That's right. And that's that. what I right. see when I do ID. I see young people in front of me every day, and they are stigmatized by the system because the system is going to keep all young people. Well, let me say this, Archie, because I'm for the system. I, I'm the one that tore down the streets, and now I'm trying to redevelop. I'm, the, I'm for crime prevention. I'm for drug prevention. I have friends I grew up with that strung out on dope, strung out on perks. Yeah, you beat the eye. It's Terry. Let me just say this. You I'm like the old foundation. phrase that Beretta used to say. Some of you may be too young to understand Beretta. He was a he was a cop that used to be on. It was one of the best cop shows ever. And his phrase was, "If you can't do the time." <laughs> Don't do the crime. <laughs> Don't do it. Gotcha, no. That's right. I'm a realist. Yeah, you stand right. what you do. Stand what you say. You do not have to result in crimes. I had a brother tell me. He said he's told about right now today. He sells T-shirts. He's a young man. I'm a mirror. He sells Terry Oz T-shirts. He sold thirty thousand T-shirts last year. Thirty thousand. He couldn't believe it himself until his accountant and the IRS said he owed that much money. Yeah. He didn't realize he sold that many. He said, EA, I was the first one to sell waters on the boulevard yeah. at 14 years old. Okay. So I would rather take 20,000 bottles of dishwasher liquid at 50 cent and sell them for a dollar than to take 10 free kilos of cocaine, 30, 50,000 cases of beer, 20 pounds of weed, I would rather take the dishwashing liquid or 30,000 packs of jacks and balls that the kids used to play with. And I guarantee I can sell them for a dollar a piece. I'm going to make more money than you because I'm going to sell them to cops, ambulance workers, doctors, lawyers, ex uh, forensic science professors, <laughs> you know, ex felons, felons, you know, nuns. I'm going to be able to sell it to everybody. With the Jackson balls and the dishwasher liquid. But that's why you are a mentor and you should be doing the work that you're mentoring me, showing us how to do this work. But you have knowledge from experience that you can help all young people. All young people, if you study the development of all young people, any young person, they take many more risks in life. Today, I don't take the kind of risks I took 30 years ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm smart and I'm Was it sad. before you became blind at 14? Oh, no. Blind people take risks, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can touch you. Smart. Well, well, right, well Mr. Archie, real it. quick. I know you got to go. <laughs> Mr. Archie, this is the humorous side of the show. You have to tell us one of your bad mistakes that you made to make you turn your life around. Just give us one. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. Gosh, I have to think hard on it because I don't think I'm... So you I, don't count then, Mr. Archie. We ain't saying jaywalk. Uh, <laughs> well, I'd be jaywalking with my king. But you know what, though? Honestly, I can't think of what. It's not because I think I'm anyone perfect or any better than any of my brothers and sisters. I wasn't given those choices. And it's about what you put in front of your kids. If your child is six years old and you put you know, tainted uh, lead water and coke, and those are the three things in front of your child, and coke with high sugar content, <laughs> then your child is going to choose well, one of those things, and they're all bad for your child. When I grew up and when I came here to the United States, I was given great choices, and therefore, I, even if I took the worst of the great choices, it was an excellent choice. We need to do that wow. for all young people. Wow. Okay. Thank you for that perspective. And of course, you know we got to pay the bills. Yes, yeah. sir. You live at WPPM 106.5 FM. Let's get it. We're going to get to this track. We're going to come right back. But don't forget my $1,000 since I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey. 
This is Lucinda Trotter, a.k.a. The Bible Princess. I just want everyone out there to know, if you are interested in performing on that date, which is November the 18th, okay. at where? Alany Art Center? It's the Alany Art Center. We have 1324 Chew Street. If you want to perform, vendors, sponsors, which is mostly sponsors. important, call 215-901-6976. Correct. Am That's I correct? correct. You got it. 215 I mean, I'll punch it in I, all, every, all day, day long. long. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, guys, if you want to perform, you, you have to contact us. You have to yes, contact, you have to contact you that can... number. Right. 215-901-6976. Or Correct. you can reach out. You can reach out to WPPM yeah, yeah. one hundred six point five FM. What's the number? And they will actually refer all information and all inquiries over to the iDate.org foundation. Right. Email is. Let me say that one more time. It's iDate. It's not iDate.org foundation. It's just iDate. <laughs> iDate foundation. But iDate.org is a foundation. It is. That's the website. Yeah. That's just yes. the website. That's well. Yeah, no, iDate is. is a foundation. Correct. Right. iDate, okay. but not iDate.org. Gotcha. 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 No, but seriously, guys, we want all you guys to come out. Um, we're going to be selling tickets pretty soon so that you can purchase your tickets. We need, um, if anybody want to be a sponsor, if there's any DJs out there who just want to get yourself out there. Guys, it's going to be some amazing people. We're going to have DJ, DJ Cosmic Kev. He's going to be doing some of the... Um, what on air? The marketing okay. on the air. We can't discuss the station <laughs> on the air. Yeah, but but DJ Cosmic Kev. Oh, y'all do that on your station? No, DJ Cosmic Kev is the main right, marketing director. Right. Okay. All right, there you for go. For all information, that's why we telling you to call the two one five nine zero one six nine seven six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
depressed about this. I thought, God, how could God do this to me? You know, there's, there's no God there. But increasingly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah increasingly, yeah, I see my blindness as a gift. Because when my own staff sometimes are afraid to talk about young people because there's a scowl on their face, and how they look, I go in and I talk to them, get through to them, and they start, how did you do that? Because I don't see the fact of, I don't see their faces, I don't see their body action. I get right to their spirit. Mm. Wow. 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 That was very, very enlightening. Yeah, that was you know, just having Mr. Archie just give a little matter of perspective about, you know, him being a blind man and how it touched him and it did hurt being it. Yes. It, I think it's very, very strong. It takes a lot of guts and heart to explain that I was hurt before. I was hurt. It had something that he had to actually gain mastery is the perfect word that describes Mr. Archie. And some of us, when we go through the things that we go through, you have to gain mastery. Yep. And to gain mastery, for those that do not know, you have to adapt to your surroundings, no matter what it is. Correct. And I pray for Puerto Rico, all the other islands that are suffering, as well as Texas and all the others. But we need help here as well. Yeah. It's been a flood, and there's no disrespect, excuse me no. if, if I offend right. anyone. No, but honestly, we need help so bad to help these children. I beg y'all to help this gentleman and his corporation because there's not too many that really stand up and fight. And thank, I want to thank on this, on, this, on this platform, Cherie Street, Daryl Clark, um... Uh, what's the young lady's name? I always forget her name, and she's like she's the one that really made a lot of things happen for an organization uh, called One Click. And I think that when they proposed to help out this this uh, uh, this uh, benefit concert, the Stop the Violence concert, I was so happy. Janie Janie Blackwell. I want to salute all of them. David O's office, uh, the gentleman Shande or Shandai that I've talked to from the mayor's office. When they told me that they would help, I can't wait to go to their offices and see how much help they will be. I really can't because I challenge people to the third power. So thank you again, uh, you know, WPPM 106.5 FM, you know, and all the, the things that y'all doing wonderfully at Philly Cam. Uh, thanks for having us coming out with Bruno Brown, Paulie, <laughs> hiphoponedeck.com, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and I just want to say... Uh, November 18th is this concert. That's right. November 18th is at the Ali Art Center. Broad Nowney. You can, you can catch the bus, a plane, the stork, the <laughs> bird can silly. drop you off. That's <laughs> right there. Right. 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 No excuse. One thing, no excuse. Thing, no excuse. Thing, no excuse. Thing, no excuse. So, way up here. The you can get tickets. Soon. You can have tickets as little as Monday, Monday or Tuesday. Um, the, tickets so, the tickets are $30. The tickets are $30. And that go towards the foundation, donating towards the foundation. Okay, right. that's right. right. And that goes towards the foundation because it's a non-profit non organization. Non-profit organization, okay. It's a non-profit organization. This is not for like a profit so we can right, buy right. some Gucci's. Right. There you go. Right. No, these are for... Non-profit organization. Non profit. We have a I day. Clear. Yes. <laughs> I day. Let's make that very clear. Clear. It's right. for I day. And if you do your, your homework and your research, please, right. we challenge you. In the name of everything, in the name of genocidal curse. Have you know what a genocidal curse is? We've been cursed. And we want to kind of reverse that psychology. And it starts with, with this brother stepping to the plate, like Bruno Brown said, and quit. Now, I'm just guessing. I guarantee he made over a hundred and something thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars at his profession. He decided to leave that job title to come work with the youth that explains everything that explains everything and one more one more thing i want to say thank you larry krasner for stepping up to the plate as a district attorney i never thought i would vote for a district attorney in my whole entire life wow that man that man has showed that he really care about our communities like mr archie did so 215-901-6976 Okay, 215-901-6976 for sponsorship, performances, uh, vending. Vending, which is more important than anything. Okay. Because if you are a company out there just like that, 
and you want your information to be put out, you may want to give a donation, you have to reach out to Mr. Archie at 215-901-6976. Or just visit the website. There's some information on the website. You can get the website at www.idaay.org. Yeah, yeah. This is not a test. What you are witnessing is live radio 106.5 FM. And this is the Indie Bow Radio Show with your host, 